Hey, Psych2Goers. Having a crush can be a great feeling, but have you wondered if your crush is emotionally available? Are they able to emotionally connect with you and others? If you get into a relationship with a crush who is emotionally unavailable, this can lead to a lack of emotional fulfillment. So to prevent this from happening, here are six signs your crush is emotionally unavailable. One, they lack compassion. Compassion is the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes and to express concern for them. Someone who is unable to emotionally connect with others is also likely to lack compassion. In a crush, this could hint that your future relationship will struggle. It's so important that both partners are on the same emotional level so that you can build understanding and trust with each other. Two, they don't seem to want a real relationship. Is your crush unwilling to commit or use the word relationship? If you notice that they only seem to be interested in the thrill or excitement of being in a new relationship, then you may need to be concerned about their emotional availability. They may be scared of or unable to provide the emotional intimacy necessary for a strong, sustainable relationship. Three, their body language comes off as distant. Does your crush avoid eye contact or stand with a defensive posture? Affectionate and connective body language can make us emotionally vulnerable. So if they hesitate or refuse to reciprocate such body language, it may mean that they're emotionally unavailable. Recent neuroscience research also linked the ability to mirror facial expression to greater empathy. Therefore, if your crush is unable to pick up on your facial cues or actions, it may be another sign of emotional unavailability. Four, they're dismissive of you. Is your crush constantly unavailable? Do they avoid hanging out or making plans with you? Even when they're present, do they dismiss or avoid certain conversations with you? Being physically and emotionally present is very important for a relationship. When they avoid spending time with you or refuse to listen to your point of view, it's likely that they're unavailable to emotionally commit to your relationship or be emotionally available for you. Five, they avoid emotional depth. Is your crush uncomfortable with having emotional conversations? Do they change the subject or become more closed off when they sense a conversation heading in this direction? It's crucial to be accepting and in touch with your emotions and those of others. Showing discomfort about being emotional may mean that your crush is repressing some of their tougher emotions. They may be having trouble opening up about things that require the acknowledgement of difficult or complex emotions. And number six, they don't have many deep relationships with others. Have you noticed that your crush doesn't have many deep and meaningful friendships? Emotional availability, especially in adults, can be determined by someone's depth of social relationships. Strong, meaningful friendships are rooted in emotional understanding, interpersonal skills, and vulnerability. So you can tell your crush's willingness to open up and connect emotionally with others by the depths of friendships they have with others. Do you notice any of these signs in your crush? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go for more helpful videos. Also, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.